This is the Angel of the North. It stands beside the A1 in Gateshead, just outside of Newcastle, and is one of the most iconic sculptures in the whole of the UK. And believe it or not, this footage is actually from sunrise. We got up at 4 o'clock in the morning to see it in the glorious splendour of daybreak, only for it to be completely grey and overcast instead. Well, there was one patch of blue sky. At 20 metres tall, it's taller than four stacked double-decker buses and can be seen from many miles away in the surrounding countryside. And whilst 20 metres might not be the tallest, for instance, both the Statue of Liberty and Christ the Redeemer statue are taller, even without their pedestals. What makes the Angel of the North so impressive is its wingspan, a massive 54 metres, similar to that of a jumbo jet. And well, this presented something of a problem when it came to designing the Angel. You see, each wing weighs an incredible 50 tonnes, attached to a body weighing double that of 100 tonnes. So you've got 200 tonnes of steel spread across a 54 metre wingspan, trying to withstand harsh and battering winds, whilst all of this tremendous weight is resting on a very slender pair of ankles, just a couple of metres in diameter. So why doesn't it just fall over? Well first of all, it was decided to build a framework of steel ridges on the outside of the Angel to give it more strength and support, a sort of exoskeleton that has today become so iconic. But the main part of the answer lies beneath the grass. The Angel is attached to an underground concrete plinth using three metre long bolts. This plinth is in turn attached to a series of concrete piles buried 20 metres down into the bedrock. In total, the foundations weigh 600 tonnes of solid concrete and anchor it down making it resistant to winds of up to 100 miles an hour. Yep, that's not going anywhere. It really is an engineering marvel and it forever redefined the landscape of North East England. And today, a whole 20 years after its completion, the Angel of the North stands as magnificent as ever.